Hello and welcome. I figured it would be relatable or in the best case motivating if I'm sharing my experiences of learning Python. I will also share some advice which I would have found helpful. Looking back, I would split my learning process into three phases. First one is the no idea what's going on phase. My thoughts in this phase were I have no idea how or where to start and I cannot even formulate the problem I have. The second phase is where I was starting to feel I'm progressing. In this phase I could sometimes formulate the problem, but in general I always had the feeling of progressing too slow. The third phase is the phase of confidence. That doesn't mean I know everything and always find a solution, but I know where I have to start and if I get stuck I have an idea where to look up my problems to move on. This slide is showing the changing resources over those phases. In the first phase I was focused on YouTube tutorials, interactive coding sites such as Datacamp and partly introductory books to get an orientation. The second phase is also focused on YouTube, those other listed resources and a lot on Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow was sometimes helpful but a lot of the time I was following a paste and pray approach hoping that the inserted code was not throwing out any error. I was also taking a look at the documentation of certain libraries but at first I didn't really know how to read it. In the third phase my main resources are probably Stack Overflow and the documentation of certain libraries. With the time you are getting better in reading it. I'm using Stack Overflow to another extent as in the second phase. I'm actually trying to understand what the people are discussing and not only copy pasting stuff. That doesn't mean I don't copy paste from Stack Overflow from time to time. Contrary to the phase before, I'm not afraid of errors but rather focus on trying to understand why they occur and amend the code properly. My personal learning curve, I was starting with Datacamp and playing around with IDLE and was watching very basic beginner tutorials as said. In the second phase, I was going through intermediate tutorials and did my first mini projects. I think I was doing a database connection task and did some simple statistical analysis of financial data. A big step for me was attending a university course, but this was a real pain. The exam was a pen and paper exam and it was really going into details including building an app, object-oriented programming concepts and data-related stuff. While it was kind of frustrating and demotivating on the one hand, it had a really positive impact on my learning curve looking back. Finally, what was making the difference for me was writing my master thesis in a quantitative field, mainly using Python and a bit of R. You have to imagine you got half a year to write your thesis and the written part was really brief while the coding was the main part. I was really getting a lot better during this. And today I'm working with Python every day, which has also a huge positive impact. That does mean I am where I want to be. There's still a lot to learn for me and I'm looking forward to learn new stuff every day. Let me give you some advice. First one, probably the most important one. Don't hesitate asking for help, but really try to understand how to help yourself as fast as possible. In a corporate environment, you have to deal with other people's code and write own code or programs. There will be no one who is taking your hand and guiding you through every single line of code they have written. So you have to figure out a lot of stuff on your own. And the earlier you understand how to help yourself, the better. Second one is an important point which I'm unfortunately seeing quite frequently. Programming related communities are great to connect with people on different skill levels on the one hand. But you have to deal with a lot of toxic, demotivating and even arrogant people on the other hand. Please don't get me wrong. There are good people, there are a lot of helpful and positive people, but also some very rude and demotivating people and you should just try to ignore them. Focus on the good people, but be prepared there are also a lot of bad people. Last but not least, you should do your own projects. Standardized projects are without a question helpful, but the problem with them is you can easily just look up the full solution online. And our brain is always looking for the easiest way. If you do individual projects, you can look up parts of the solution where you're currently struggling with, but you cannot look up the full solution. Instead, you have to take multiple parts and put them together yourself. And I think that is really making a difference. But to be real here, you need some experience to actually be able to do that. So start with a standardized projects, but try to tackle an individual project soon. So what is an individual project? Let's say you have a certain passion and want to make a program use case out of it. For example, you love sports and you want to track your training progress. So you could code a simple workout tracker which is visualizing your training progress and e.g. tells you what to train. Personally, I did a lot of finance stuff, so I coded and backtested some trading strategies I would find interesting to trade. This quote from Dennis Ritchie, creator of the C programming language, is summarizing it and gets it to the point. 
only way to learn a new programming language is writing programs in it. And I strongly agree on that. That being said, thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed this video leave it a like or share your personal experiences in the comments below and I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. Bye bye.